Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and today we're going to make some displacement animation in After Effects. Step one, click on the new composition. I'm going to rename it as text. The width is going to be 1080 and the height, I'm going to make it 300. Click OK. I'm going to select the type tool from here. I'm going to type in Panther. I'm going to go with Mango Grotesque Bold Italic. And I'm going to press Ctrl Control, double click on the pen behind. So the anchor point is going to be in the center. And I'm going to align it to the center. I'm going to press the letter S to scale it up. I can scale it here. Actually, I'm going to go to the composition settings right here. And I'm going to make the height 450. There you go. Click OK. And I'm going to scale it more so it's going to fit nicely. Now we're going to go here, right click, click on new composition. And I'm going to make the height 1920. And I'm going to rename it as pattern. Click OK. I'm going to drag and drop the text in here. And I'm going to go to the line, align bottom. I'm going to go to effects and presets, type in repeat tile. Drag the repeat tile onto the text. And we got here expand up. I'm going to drag this and it's going to create copies. And I'm going to click on the text, press the letter P for position. I'm going to activate the stopwatch. I'm going to drag this to the eight seconds. And I'm gonna also adjust the time ruler to the eight seconds, drag the text down, press and hold shift. So it's gonna animate it a little bit faster. Something like this, let's check it out. Good. Now we're gonna go back to the project here in the corner, right click, click on new composition. And I'm gonna type in a displacement, click okay. And I'm gonna drop the pattern in here. And I'm also gonna try out this texture right here. I'm gonna leave some links in the description so you can download the same exact images. I'm gonna drag and drop here into the project. And I'm gonna drag and drop right into the displacement. I'm gonna press the letter S and scale it down, something like that. I'm gonna uncheck it, click on the pattern, and we're gonna type into the effects and presets, displacement. And let's drag and drop the displacement map on the pattern. And we got here pattern. We're going to need to switch it to the texture that we have. And it's going to start distorting it a little bit. And here we have the max horizontal versus max vertical displacement. So the horizontal is going to displace it horizontally. And the vertical is going to displace it vertically. And we're going to go back to the start here. And all we need to do is activate the stopwatch at the max vertical and horizontal. I'm going to decrease it to zero for both. So we're going to start with zero and I'm going to click on the pattern, press the letter U to highlight these keyframes that we have. And I'm going to copy paste the keyframes, control C. I'm going to go to the fifth, press control V to copy paste. And I'm going to start moving to the second seconds and start distorting it. And you also can play around with the keyframes. So one is going to start faster and the other one is going to start later. And I'm going to select these control C. It's copy pasted to the third second. So it's going to go back to normal and you keep distorting it however you like. And this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.